Today we are with our guest in the studio, uh, Ms. Srijana Ma'am, who is the President of the Hotel Association of Nepal, and Mr. Shubod Thapa, who is with Beanstalk. Today we will be discussing this big event that is coming up, especially after the pandemic, the hospitality conclave in association with the Hotel Association of Nepal. Uh, so to begin with, Ma'am, what is the importance of this conclave, especially in the timing right now. Right. So what I would like to say is, as we all know that you know in Nepal, how much uh, the tourism co rule kets have that we all know that we uh, contribute nearly 7.9 percent to the GDP of the country. And 2019, when we when you go back and you look at the graph, like 20. Uh, 19 had been the best year for Nepal and of course 2020 we were expecting more but then you know due to the COVID situation everything you know has now I think we've come down 80% like 2022 I think there's been about 20% of tourism from what we had earlier so don't you think that this is the best time for us when things have slowed down to look back to see what have been the gaps what has been the strength how can we improve and when things actually bounce back that we should be you know perfect uh, rather you know there should be no criticism to say that the hospitality sector is you know we are all of international standard be it a homestay or be it a five-star hotel so this is the reason when i got in touch with uh, subodh and subodh himself is a as you know is an expert in hospitality so we thought what better way to you know partner together and look into the possibility of bringing this um, conclave and see what, uh, and to make sure that, you know, something good comes out of it. The report, the learnings, the, uh, the white paper that we are thinking would have a big impact in the hospitality sector. Uh, Shubha, this has been in the planning for some time. So could you tell us, I mean, where it all started from and how it started taking? Uh, thanks for the invitation, Jayans. Uh, and also, you know, uh, thank you for coming on board, you know, with nepaltravel.com. Uh, the entire, uh, you know, the entire, how should I say, you know, you know, the entire uh, landscape of hospitality for, you know, for uh, the country, and we are now, you know, more than seventy years old. Uh, we realize that, you know, the amount of uh, the amount of uh, potential, the amount of professional talent, the amount of resources, you know, that that the hospitality industry, you know, has been able to gather for the country. You know, it it this it was time. It was time that somebody brought this thing together, that we created this platform where we could all share in. Uh, not everybody is able to, you know, sort of travel internationally and, you know, pick up you know, bits and bites of knowledge. And uh, I think, you know, with, you know, with, you know, with Srijana's, you know, with her own personal aggression when it comes to this event, and also, uh, and also, you know, looking at hospitality, the way it is right now, you know, as Srijana just mentioned, we were, uh, we looked at this event in, in 2019 and uh, for Beanstalk Asia Nepal, that's my company, uh, Visit Nepal Year 2020, if you remember, you know, would have been, well, would have been the perfect year, you know, for us to showcase uh, to ourselves, you know, to, to the Nepali uh, hospitality industry, you know, where we are and where we, could, where we could be. And, you know, that's where we came up with the main theme, you know, reshaping hospitality for tomorrow. Uh, as luck would have it, uh, it got reshaped a big time, <laughs> you know, COVID-19. Uh, so yeah, you know, it was put in the parking lot for a while and the moment uh, things started looking good again, you know, so, so we were right back at Srijana's door and said, uh, man, we've got to get this thing going again. And, you know, it took five, all of five minutes to right. say, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so that's how it, that's how it all started. Uh, the premise, the premise of the, of the conclave is, you know, to know more, to learn more, and to meet more. So there is a knowledge element, uh, there is a networking element, and there's also an element for uh, specialist partners. You know, the industry has has gone through a sea change, uh, especially over the last two years. Uh, uh, traditional, you know, traditional styles of hospitality, you know, have have changed a bit. Uh, perhaps in other parts of the world, you know, uh, you know, IT and technology had already caught on. But uh, the COVID-19 proved to us in Nepal that, you know, it's time for us to also you know, really get onto that bandwagon. 
So yeah, there's going to be a lot of effort in a lot of focus on knowing more, learning more. And, you know, I think there'll be some very interesting uh, specialist partners who will come on board the, uh, the event and then you'll be able to meet more. Yeah. So the conclave, what are you looking at uh, putting out and who are the people that perhaps should be more interested or participating in this to bring the whole industry together? <laughs> in our discussions with, uh, with Han, uh, you know, we, uh, we realized, we realized at that point of time that uh, this has to be a conclave uh, for the hospitality industry. And as Sujana mentioned, uh, you know, you could be the owner of a homestay, with seven or eight rooms, or you could be the owner or the general manager or the vice president of a five-star uh, branded or an internationally managed hotel. So the, uh, so the spectrum, the spectrum is, is, is fairly wide. Uh, you could have young and upcoming managers who would attend, so they would learn more. Uh, uh, and Han will you know, watch, watch for us. There's a tremendous amount of growth in development of the industry and it seems that a lot of a lot of these hotels uh, mid-sized hotels are actually mushrooming along the east-west highway you know i'm the purva pastian rajmark there are owners there you know they're they're investing young owners new owners developers as we call them in our business you know they will you know they will be able to learn uh, there will be talent nepali talent which is outside nepal who would hopefully come back in as specialists and they'll be able to share the international knowledge with uh, you know you know with their community here so it's actually a, a gathering it's you know it's a melting pot of knowledge it's a melting pot of uh, you know of old friendships uh, also of you know services you know somebody's got to do business yeah uh, ma'am from the position of han <clears throat> how important do you see this conclave and uh, what will han's uh, role be right so as you know, uh, we, we are already 50, nearly 54 years old association, which has about 4,000 member hotels. So Han also plays a role to look into the possibility of helping the member hotels, helping the experts to, you know, look to see the updated technology, the like uh, Subo just mentioned that, you know, so many changes have come. I'd also like to mention about the climate change. These days, you know, we all talk about climate change. So that is one of the topics that we think we are covering up is to say, what is the solution? So here, you know, people come to learn. Here people do networking. And here people also look, uh, get a chance to see the solution. Because, you know, sometimes we talk a lot, but then, you know, we don't have solutions. So, uh, you know, Han at the moment is really looking into the possibility of launching this campaign to say, say no to single use plastic. But then we also have to have, uh, you know, the products that can replace uh, the products that we are using at the moment. So this will also be an opportunity to touch the subject on climate change. So in regards to the conclave, I mean, what kind of a target audience, what kind of people would best uh, be participants at this conclave? Right. So. You know, in a hotel industry, we have different departments. And like I, we talked about, you know, things have changed, technology, technology has changed, uh, you know, the digital marketing is the marketing uh, these days. So what ha happens is like the advantage of having these conclave is basically to update yourself with the new technology. Um, and at the same time, like, I talked to you about marketing, then, you know, the importance of HR department, which is equally important. So that is what we are touching. Then we are touching um, the policies, which is, again, a huge problem here. So this is, the, this is, I think, going to be the first of its kind where we are going to have the government people also participate with the uh, stakeholders. And then we discuss what has been the gaps, what has been the issues, and how we suggest to them that they need to bring about changes. Or maybe they might also have some suggestions for us. So it's going to be a platform where we can have a chance to discuss. And then, you know, they also get to hear us. I mean, not that they don't. We do go to meet them often. But then this is going to be one of its kind, where there's going to be a moderator. We talk about our issues, and we request them on what changes they have to bring. And they tell us that what has been their, uh, you know, issues with the stakeholders as well. So the outcome is going to be brilliant, uh, uh, you know, for 
for all of us to know the changes that we need to bring and where is the place that we need to improve, where we can enhance this uh, hospitality industry, where we can talk about food safety, where we can talk about the standards and you know hygiene. So all this is going to cover and then it'll be an opportunity for all the people in the hotel industry, youth who want to come into the uh, come into uh, you know hospitality industry. So it's going to be a huge opportunity for us to learn and also to hear the best practices. So you know, so it's going to be, I think, very interesting, and I'm pretty confident that it is, it is going to benefit a lot of people. And Shubod, uh, perhaps you'd like to share a little bit more on the sessions that we're going to do, the kind of people who will be uh, moderating these sessions, and will it be beyond just the hospitality and the hoteliers? Because I think, in an, to some extent, a little bit more on the tourism also would be involved in this. Uh, the hospitality industry, Terence, as you know, I mean, it sits right in the middle of the pot. You know, uh, there is no industry that is not impacted by hospitality. You know, you could be selling paints. You know, a hotel needs to paint its walls. Uh, obviously, you know, you could be selling. You know, a laundry machine. You know, you need a laundry. Uh, you know, hospitality is not complete without people. The human resources is ever, ever important. Uh, it is perhaps perceived as a highly capital intensive uh, business. You know, the ROIs can be, if unmanaged, ROIs can be, you know, can be quite long and stretched. So money, finances, uh, general management practices, uh, Shrijana talked about uh, hygiene. She talked about you know, you know, new information technology and technology ideas. Uh, so everybody, we, everybody, anybody who is in business, either as a hospitality professional or as a an ancillary business uh, service provider, uh, you know, is welcome to attend. Uh, but as I mentioned earlier, uh, the Nepal Hospitality Conclave. Uh, is meant to be a platform. It's meant to be a platform for all stakeholders to come together. Uh, we need the government. Uh, we need the government for policy. Uh, you know, as the private industry, we can do the best that we can, right? But if the destination is not friendly, if the destination is not conducive, you know, to a visitor, what's the point? You know. So yes, uh, travel planners, the tourism business. Uh, you know, traditional tour operators, travel agents. Now we have third party providers, what, what we now know as OTAs, online travel agents. Uh, uh, online uh, media, such as yourself, I mean, the, the, role that, the role that you guys play, you know, I mean, uh, the amount of information and knowledge that you throw out there, you know, are pretty much, you know, a, you know an experienced traveler or not even, even a first time traveler can glean in, in, enough information and plan his or her or their own holiday. So yeah, you know, you could be selling cements, <laughs> you know, you know, you should be interested to come, you know, you could be selling bricks, you could be a guy who does furniture, maybe you're a guy who sells mattresses, everybody. So before we close, I'd like to ask uh, our panelists, one line to the audience why they should participate in the hospitality conclave. What I would like to say is, for Nepal, tourism and hospitality is the most important uh, career investment. So take this opportunity, come and, come and participate and know more about it. Uh, I mean, Shrijan, I mentioned this earlier, you know, I mean, pre-pandemic, uh, almost 8%, you know, 8% you know, of the gross revenue uh, was being contributed by the hospitality. Uh, at the cost of sounding alarmist, we now have a situation where the foreign exchange reserves are, are depleting. So you know, the entire idea is to come together, you know, take the hospitality industry forward and you know, share knowledge so that you know, the tourism grows and we all grow with it. Thank you so much for taking the time to come on our studio it's with us. It's a real pleasure being with you And here. we hope you get the best participation and that the, the nation gains from such a conclave. Thank you. Thank you for Thank you so much.